in Belgrade, Vladimir Radomirovic, is there a feeling amongst his supporters in Serbia, we've seen some tremendous support for him, that he clearly didn't commit these crimes like genocide? Of course, many Serbs believe that he did not commit crimes, especially genocide, since uh, it, it was clear at the end of the Bosnian War that there was a clash between Radovan Karadzic and Radko Mladic, who was the uh, uh, chief officer of the Bosnian Serb army. And in fact, uh, they clashed over Mladic's decision to attack Srebrenica, because uh, Karadzic thought that it would be uh, much wiser to protect the western part of the uh, Serb Republic against the forthcoming Bosniak and Croat invasion. Uh, but the thing is, uh, the, the protests we've seen these days in Belgrade, and especially last night, the pictures are dramatic, but the protests have been less than expected. And it, it goes to say that, uh, uh, that Serbs are rather tired of, of talking about uh, what happened 15 years ago, and uh, they just want to uh, get over, over with this, and uh, uh, many... Many Serbs, I must say this, accept that there were crimes committed in, in, on their behalf by uh, people, especially in Bosnia, and uh, they want to acknowledge this and uh, move on and move towards the European Union. Interesting uh, story title in Britain's The Independent newspaper, Mr. Radomirovic. It says, Serbian press lionizes the cunning fugitive, not the criminal. Do you think that's accurate? Uh, Yes, there were reports, uh, uh, many reports, is, and, and this also in the, uh, the so-called uh, serious press here, uh, about uh, how uh, uh, Karadzic kept hiding from uh, the authorities. And it, it is uh, shocking and surprising to see him as a sort of a New Age guru who was uh, openly uh, expressing his views on uh, alternative medicine in Belgrade and other cities in Serbia. And it, it, this was really shocking, and I, I, I'm, I mean, you know, it's obvious that, that the press would react strongly to this and uh, continue talking about this, but uh, I must also say that uh, uh, the, uh, the journalists here uh, uh, presented what, what Karadzic is uh, indicted of and what crimes were committed in Bosnia. Payama Havan in Copenhagen, uh, is there a feeling that uh, Serbia has guaranteed its entry into the European Union with capturing Radovan Karadzic? Well, certainly, uh, uh, with the capture of Radovan Karadzic, Serbia is one step closer uh, to acceptance uh, uh, in the uh, international community and, and the European Union. Uh, the fact that Ratko Mladic still remains at large, uh, I think, is still an impediment, and I believe that this is why the European Union perhaps is still uh, withholding uh, the sort of recognition that the Serbian government wants. But what is very clear and significant here uh, is that despite the fact that the uh, uh, ultranationalists have been making a lot of noise and there have been dramatic images which the media likes to focus on, the fact is that in the last elections the uh, radical party lost. It, it gained less than a third of the vote and what we see in the streets of Belgrade is more a sort of desperate, futile uh, dying convulsion of those that do not want to let go of a very uh, uh, unfortunate past. The majority of people have voted for the pro-European uh, parties in Serbia and the fact that the government uh, despite the sort of political cost attached to the extradition of Karadzic has handed him over uh, is a sign that the vast majority of people want to let go of the past and, and look forward to a future where they are part of Europe and part of the international community. Nijara Ahmetasovic in Sarajevo. What does Karadzic's trial mean for Bosnian Muslims? It means a lot. Uh, in the first place, it means um, it is a message that justice can be done. It is a message for all people in this country as well to all people in the world. I think that you cannot commit the crimes as genocide, as crimes against humanities as all these kinds that are in, 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 in his indictment and walk free around. It is a huge message and very important message, not only to Bosnia, but I believe to the whole international community. Is there closure for, for Bosnians? I, I cannot hear you. Is there closure Sorry? for Bosnians? Do they feel some sort of relief or closure after the horrors of the war? Uh, yes, yes, they feel kind of relief, 
but I mean, the, probably this feeling is much stronger uh, after Karadzic, after we heard the news that Karadzic is now in The Hague, uh, because we were kind of like not so secure while he was in Belgrade. But what, what, what took all this feeling from us are all these media reports about him having lover, about him being a doctor of alternative medicine, about him uh, taping uh, like porno videos and all that. I think it distracts the attention uh, of all the people who are following these stories from what is really important. And what is really important, uh, important is what did happen in Bosnia during the war. And that is what he is indicted for. All right, it's time for a short break. More on the trial of Radovan Karadzic on the other side of this. Do stay with us.